Well, looks like the days of the cheap gas are probably gone. Went up 15 cents or so. Fuck seeks. Oh, well, I want to go sit in my car and vape. It got cold out. Fuck. <laughs> it's like minus 20 out right now or something, but damp, damp, damp. That's the problem with northern Ontario, eh? It gets cold and it gets damp, and then uh, it just rips through your bones. It's not a good kind. Oh, frig yeah, looks like Target's gonna be having a great big liquidation sale all across Canada. You know, it's probably cheaper to sell all the shit at a discounted price than it is to pack it on trucks and send it back to Mercas to be sold in the Merkin stores. So that's pretty cool. Maybe we can get stuff priced at Walmart prices in there now. Well, for a couple weeks until they cancel. I don't really need anything, but uh, you know, Oh, it's a good idea to go shop around. Maybe we can find disposable things in there like razor blades and other things and stuff and junk and maybe a couple totes for dirt cheap. There's nothing I need. I honestly don't need anything. What I need is a freaking camcorder. Hey, maybe they'll have the Vixia 500 on sale. That'd be a bonus. I'd scoop one of them up. I don't know how well you guys can see it. I can't really zoom in because it changes the light aperture and lowers the dimness of the video. But, uh, bet you the guy over there sitting in that, uh, looks like an... Hyundai Elantra, uh, I bet you he's wondering what the fuck I'm doing, just like I'm wondering what the fuck he's doing. In the end, we're both doing the same thing, sitting in our cars, having a chooch, except for I'm choochin' on one of these. He's having cigarettes. It's the train enthusiasts, right? Holy fuck, back her out at him. It's like the train enthusiasts. They come down here, they park, and they just look at the trains. I don't know. I don't know how that's fun, but then again, they probably don't know how vaping's fun. I love vaping. Fuck, I love this Nautilus tank. Chooch for days! Frig, I'm sitting here and all I can smell is gas fumes and I'm like, fuck, what's going on with my car? But then I realized it's not my car making the smells. Looks like they're getting more gasoline because they sold out. And that reeks like gas right now. Frig sakes. Oh shit, Miss McDougal Fuel Services. Oh yeah, love that guy, love that guy. Oh yeah, love that guy, big times. Wonder how things are going at the house with Scamper's not able to have food. She must be flipping tits right now because she's not supposed to eat any munchies until tomorrow when she comes back from her operation. By then she's going to be so fucking groggy and stoned. It's going to be funny to videotape her because she'll be like, mm, you know, all friggin' derpy. When are they going to have to put a satellite on her head to keep her from like licking her wounds? I guess we'll find out tomorrow. And I wonder what they're going to make of that mark on her neck. Because I'm pretty sure she tore herself because she goes in uh, stupid locations in the house, eh? Like she goes behind the washer and dryer and it's not exactly like perfect there. She goes into the water heater area, which maybe she brushed up against a hot pipe, maybe. But it's definitely not Oreo, because if Oreo would have done that, he would have tore. Like he would have tore her flesh. And it looks more like, it looks like a tear, but not from Oreo's mouth. Like Oreo would have had to like, you know, like, like, like lightly come in, mm, mm, you know, pull out. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that they'll be able to figure out what the fuck's wrong with her and get her neck all situated and, and then she'll be all good to go and gonna have her give her the full friggin' jobby there, the whole look over and get all her needles and if all that shit and all that nonsense and then she'll be 100% kitty and maybe once she's fixed she'll calm her tits and not be such a fucking feral beast because right now it's like she'll come over to me and lay down beside me but if I pet her she gets up and leaves like she doesn't want the attention but she wants the attention and maybe she's bipolar I don't know cat's dick but um tomorrow at 8 a.m fuck I mean tonight I gotta go home and go to bed or stay up until 8 a.m drop the cat off go home pass out till 2 30 go pick up the cat at the, at the uh vet come home and then fucking scoot to work Fuck, I hope I can. Say, so, but right now I need to get back inside. I put the camera on charge, but this battery's just not holding it, people. We might be flipping it soon. That's gonna suck. So I better get back inside. My lunch is not almost over, but I'm done vaping. I made this the nicotine in the Atlantis here a little bit too high. So like a couple toots off of this, and it's like smoking three packs of cigarettes, freak sakes. Feels like a 12. <laughs> yeah, feels like a 12 in nicotine. It's way too much. Just locks me right up every friggin' time I chooch it. But I keep going back for more because it tastes like fuzzy friggin' peaches. And I like that kind a lot. That's like my favorite gummy in the world, fuzzy peaches. Or anything sour. Sour keys, sour gummies, fuzzy peaches. And I know there's others out there that I haven't tried yet. But I love sour flavored jube jubes. Like uh, sour flavored friggin' gummies. They're my favorite in the whole world. 
and I gotta quit eating them. <laughs> so far tonight it's been a pretty easy shift. I'm really liking it. Not too busy, not too crazy. So that's a big time bonus there, you know, because when there's outages, like right now we're still having the problem up north. Normally we get heckled with calls. We're not getting shit, which is a bonus because that would suck. Apparently it was busy again during the day, but it's always busy during the day. Because during the day is when we have the businesses trying to operate, and if their service is dicked, they call in to find out Keska fuck's going on with their service, you know? And uh, at night, though, businesses are closed. It's just people with home internet. That's why I like the night shift. It's a lot friggin' easier than the day shift. Oh, big times! You know, it's a lot easier on the day shift now than it was before, because before, we used to do uh, interpersonal or intercompany repairs. So if somebody next door called over and they had a problem with their computer, if we couldn't fix it over the phone, then we delegated it to desktop support and they would send a monkey over to fix it up. But if we could fix it over the phone, we totally did. And we fixed everything from printers to computers to, you know, telling people how to hook shit up and stuff. And it was bullshit. And that would be the majority of your calls during the day. Now we don't get those anymore. They go to a different department, which is pretty awesome I suppose pretty awesome because uh, you have the department that it takes care of it and now it takes care of all intercompany support they're a part of Ontario Northland they were never a part of Ontario they got shifted over to Ontario Northland so our IT service right now is being outsourced to them and Bell's paying those guys to fix that keep our shit running pretty awesome I suppose but whatever any hoozle yep I need to get back in there I'm freezing my tits off so I'll talk to you guys later peace the frig out Yay, my battery fully charged on my camcorder. Anyway, people, it's friggin' midnight. My tits are friggin' rattling and they're shivering and stuff. We got about a quarter of a tank of gas left. Might get some on the way home. Probably won't. Let's go home. I'm sick and tired of this place. Check this shit out, guys. Scampers. Wow. Show me your neck. No. Come here. No. Look at her neck now. Look at this. What? Give me your It's like... What? I don't know. What's wrong? Still getting it checked out, obviously, but... What do you mean, checked out? It's like whatever happened, all the fur's growing back in. Why are you not talking so to I don't know. What's going on? I don't know about you, dude. What about you? But you can't have food, because you have an operation in eight hours. What the fuck's an operation? And you're not going to be a happy, fluffy-tailed kitty after that. You're going to fucking... What are you doing? You're going to fall. No. Oh, my goodness. No. What are you doing right there? Are you petting yourself? Yeah. You're so funny. Yeah. Yeah, you're so funny. Yeah, yeah, but what's an operation? What are you doing right now? He's with the pets. What's operations? But yeah, like her neck. Hello. It's fine again. Quit ignoring me. So I don't know what the hell's going on. Quit ignoring me, stupid. Oh no, it's not. There's still a cut there. Okay, that's it. In northern Canada, they need to modify the gas. Actually, in Canada in general, they need to modify the gas pumps big times. What they need to do is rubber wrap every metal component that your hand comes in contact with. Holy shit, pumping $45 worth of gas into that car? Gave my fingertips friggin' frostbite and stupid me forgot my gloves here because I wasn't expecting on getting gas. Normally I bring some gloves with me. I should grab an old pair and just throw them in the car and keep them there for days like this because normally you don't need to use them at the pump when it's like minus 10, not a big deal. But minus 23, any moisture on your hands will freeze to that freaking lever and then it's like peeling skin when you take your hand off the damn thing. Sucks. I was questioning my weight because I just watched blokes weigh in and I'm 260 now. Can't remember what it was before. I think I've been holding this weight for a while. And I wanted to talk about weight loss for a bit from what I learned in the past. See back in 2003, believe it or not, you probably will believe it. Uh, no, 2004. Yeah, 2004. It's two years of working out on Terra. And the biggest thing was, is the jobs I had before that, uh, like I worked at Walmart and I was a cart bitch, or as I had it written on my tag, cart retrieval technician, you're not stealing food from the sink, get off the cupboard, we talked about this silly kitty, for sakes. And yeah, she's not allowed to eat anything, she's got too fast and she doesn't like that kind. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, so... Back when I worked at Walmart as a cart retrieval technician, you know, I was always pushing metal around. I was pushing shopping carts all day long because friggin' Walmart's busier than frig, and people will take a shopping cart even if they don't plan on buying anything just to put their purse in or their kids <laughs> or to lean on to go down the aisles. You ever see that? The big people, they lean on the cart and they're going down the aisle like it's a fucking mission. But, um, you know, I always had to go collect all those carts, and we didn't have R2D2 to push the carts, we had to do it by hand. 
So you grab eight carts, put them in a line, wrap the strap through the front bar, put it through the back bar, tighten it up completely and bring it in. Well, you do that all day long for eight hours a day, you're getting a ton of exercise because you're constantly moving and you're always moving a lot more weight than just your body. So I, before I started on Terra, I was 200 pounds on the fucking dot and I was buff. I was ripped. Had a six pack and shit. Then I started on Terra, and that's when all the bad habits started. The fucking two liters of pop, the bags of Doritos, the bags of Ruffles, the bags of Lay's potato chips, chocolate bars, and you know, friggin' processed McDonald's foods all the time, and store bought friggin' Subways and all this junk. And like Subway's probably not that bad for you, but it's probably pretty bad for you, maybe. It's all cold cut processed shit. And, uh, then I packed on, I went from 200 pounds all the way up to 280 pounds. The gut was bigger than it was today. It was really, really bad. If I was YouTubing back then, you guys probably would have been like, dude, you're gonna die. Stop. But I never started until 2009 and nobody said that to me back then. So anyway, back on topic. One thing I noticed about weight loss, and I just recently started doing it again, is People who wake up in the morning and all they have for breakfast is a cup of coffee and then go to work and don't eat anything until the next meal period, you know? The problem with that is your body gets so freaking hungry, like, your body gets so hungry that the next meal you eat, your body isn't going to... It's going to take what it needs to run, but it's going to store the rest in fat because as far as it's concerned, you're having a problem finding food. It needs to survive, so it's going to take out any means necessary to survive. And what I've been noticing between yesterday and today, having that egg and bacon and toast for breakfast and then going to work, I am not hungry until like 9 o'clock at night, at which point I have a little snack. You know, I might have a sandwich or um, uh, fucking like the rice, my rice. I had that. You know, just something simple to hold me over. Come home at midnight, and if I'm hungry, I'll have something again. I usually go to bed at around 3, 4 in the morning, so it gives me a couple hours. I say it takes about a half an hour to digest your food. So that's what I've been doing. And the past couple days, I felt amazing. You know, before, it was, like last week, I'd go into work, right? And I never eat in the morning. I get up in the morning, pick up the camera, start my vlog, come down here, burn off a cup or two of coffee. Go to work, and by 4.30 p.m., I am right fucking starving. Now, I'm not going about to eat any food till about 8 o'clock, unless I take an early lunch at 6. So, come 8 o'clock, I have my food. Well, it's not good kind of food. It's friggin' store-bought processed shit. That's going right to the fat stores, and I was doing that for a long time. So, the key to weight loss is getting that breakfast out of the way. Have yourself a good breakfast in the morning. Something that's gonna fill you up because like, there's a reason why they call it breakfast. You break it down, it's called breaking the fast. That fast that you have from supper until the morning. You break it by having a good hearty meal. Something good in proteins, some carbohydrates. You know, that's why I have the toast. And while well, I love bacon, bacon's just fucking delicious. I'm surprised I'm saying bacon a bunch and the dog's not eating my foot. Mm. But, um, look at him. He's trying to get in there to eat his food. Do you want some food? Here, buddy. Eat your food. Eat your food. Eat your food. Eat your food. Why don't you... Uh, you don't want your food? I can't leave it open because scampers will eat it. If she gets hungry enough, she will eat the Ore Oreos food. And now that I walk away from the crate, he starts pawing at it like he wants his food. You're fasting too till the morning then, for freak's sakes. My goodness. Or I'll crate him tonight so he can finish off his bowl. Maybe that's what I might have to do just to keep him, you know, so he can eat and she can't. But uh, they didn't say shit about water, so that's fine. But anyway, the key thing is, is your breakfast. Have a good breakfast. For lunch, if you're not too hungry, have a light lunch. Have like a sandwich or a half a sandwich in a soup or whatever. You know, vegetables, big thing. But you know what else works really nice? Have your breakfast, pop a multivitamin. But make sure you do it when you eat food. Because if you just pop a multivitamin with no food, oh man, my buddy runs, um, well, it doesn't run. He's, um, what the fuck does he call himself? A honey mule? 
I think is his technical term for his job. Basically, he goes around to porta potties and sucks the shit out. And he said the amount of like pills he finds while sucking the shit out of a honey pot is amazing. Because people will sit there, wake up in the morning, don't eat breakfast, go downstairs, you know, brush your teeth, comb your hair, have a shower, whatever it is. Open the medicine cabinet, grab a multivitamin, pop it, empty stomach, and then, of course, you know, half an hour out after being awake, sometimes, well, for me anyway, you gotta rock a dookie. So then they go for a shit, and they're just pooping out their friggin' multivitamin. They may be digested like a sixteenth of it, if that. And that's no good. You can't be doing that. So... That's why they always say, if you're going to take medication, have it on a full stomach, because then it festers around, it really dissolves, and you get the full effect. Same applies for vitamins, minerals, and any of those over-the-counter Jameson supplies you buy over at Walmart. You know what I'm saying? So, good breakfast, good multivitamin. It's one way to get yourself onto the way of uh, success and weight loss. And that's what I'm trying to do, too. Like, I'm 260 now. And I would like to be down to 230 by the May Stravaganza, the Trap Stravaganza. Is it possible? Not really. Uh, that's looking at losing. Well, I got what? February's got what? Four weeks? So if I were to lose three pounds and four, that's 12 pounds there. That would bring me down to 248. And then March would be another roughly 12 pounds, which would bring me down to 232. 236, fuck math, hello, where'd you go? You know, it's it's feasible, and then April I can work myself down to 230, and I can possibly do that just by eating and going on my walks at work, you know, on nights when it isn't freezing cold and you don't, you know, you can actually breathe the air without feeling your lungs lock up. But, uh, yeah, like, that's my plan. I want to get down to 230 pounds and see how I look and feel, and if I look and feel great, then I'm going with it. Oh yeah, my back, <laughs> or my shoulder. Fixed it. I used some, uh, a friend of mine's a uh, massage therapist, and she said uh, basically to apply heat to it. So what I did was I got these uh, thermal packs, or hot cold packs, and I fired it in the microwave for 30 minutes last night, and I slapped it on my shoulder, and let it heat up the whole area, and then I started moving my arm around, and all of a sudden I heard, like this, you know, that sound, whatever, and, uh, and like, it was almost orgasmic, the feeling. It was like, oh, ah, ah, that's a good kind, and, uh, no, it's fine, but, oh, no, no, not that arm, this arm's still fucked. Ever since martial arts back in fucking 2000, man, oh, I janked my, no, back in 96, when we were, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I got friggin' thrown, didn't break the land right, and fucking dislocated my shoulder, and ever since then it just hasn't been the same. Now it's all like, I'm clicky. You probably can't even hear that. Oh yeah, love that kind. You know, it's it's dicked, it's dicked. But, uh, yeah, whatever. War, war wounds, war wounds as I like to call them. But anyway, people, it's friggin' uh, midnight 41. 12.41. I need to get to bed because i got to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning and then try and get Scampers into the uh, kitty taxi and drag her over to the, mm, the pound, fuck. Drag her over to the pet hospital and get her de you know, deactivate her vagina so she can't make babies and get her neck checked and all that shit and then go from there. So on that note, I'm going to shut the vlog down here. So hopefully I gave you a little bit of information that's kind of useful and you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, stove them down below. Any questions, comments, concerns, like I said, stove them down below, because it could be... I just hit myself in the fucking head. They could be used on the commenting on comments. Um, leave a like if you like the video. I really appreciate it if you do, because that's freaking awesome. We got some interesting stuff coming up for the weekend. I'm not going to tell you what it is, because if it doesn't happen, then it, you know I don't feel like too much of a goof. I just stepped on scampers. And until next time, people... Keep on blogging.